Karen Murray. Hi, hello, my name is Karen Murray, and I, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I think every civilized society should be, uh, should be providing for their people, whether they have money or not, to, in order um, for them to lead a healthy life, they should be providing at least facilities to go to. Uh, and uh, in our city, I mean, when I was a kid, we could go in any store and use their bathroom. So that was not a problem. But now everybody is not allowing people into their bathrooms. And so we need to make accommodations throughout the city. I don't see it a comp of public facilities every other block. I mean, but you can start small, like every six blocks or something, provide public facilities. And then the homeless will, will not be vulnerable to the criticism of being, of, of being dirty, because they would have facilities and we would be, be providing for them. Even, I mean, we had heroes like Robin Hood. I mean, but, you know, Robin Hood had Sherwood Forest, and they had That's comments. Right. But we, we divided everything up because we divided it all came down to money, pieces of paper, whether or not you have a place. Um, but I think we do still need the commons. What would Robin Hood be without the commons in Sherwood Forest? I mean, where would he go for the facilities? You know? Good would question. he be called dirty and, and homeless? So, so we have heroes. And we have our cultural arts like Les Miserables. And, but for some reason, when we see it in reality, it's not so pretty and nice and we don't want to face it. I think um, homeless, there should be no such thing as houselessness. And, and everybody who was born deserves a place to live. <laughs> so I heard many things. I also heard like, what's the role of Thomas Square or a broader infrastructure to help people have human dignity. I heard that kind of basically wrong.